Martin Manulis called me in New York mm -hmm. and said he needed an, would I be interested? And it was just a perfect timing. You know, it was just, it was just great. And Martin Manulis was another, I just, I had such luck with the people I worked with. He is a friend of mine to this day and he's in his 90s now. And he, uh, he became the godfather of my daughter. And um, he was a wonderful producer. Mm -hmm. And like Fred Coe, writers loved him. Okay. And he loved writers. I always think that's the secret, you know, be, to get on with the writers, to have that kind of influence with the, with the writers and that kind of rapport so you understand. And, and John Frankenheimer, with whom I had gone to Williams College, uh, was, got in television at the same time that I did, or a year after, he was a year behind me. And then by that time he was a director on Playhouse 90. Mm -hmm. And we had actors like Kim Stanley. Kim Stanley was one of America's greatest actresses. And, uh, Oh, I don't know. What made the show stand out? There were other anthology shows. What made this one stand out from all the others, do you think? Well, I, you know, I just, I don't know, just the, the care and the love, I think. And, and it all, I think it all starts with the, with the power of the producer on it, who had such an influence on the writers, such an influence on the, on the, on the casting. I mean, I remember he had Paul Newman and, uh, Joanne Woodward on one show and and uh, he used to get Tony Perkins and he got he got all these people uh, to uh, uh, come and of course it, it won so many Emmys year after year mm -hmm. and um, again it was another place that was it was thrilling to be to be involved.